Hello guys, Elias here again. I hope you remember our client's build with 7,500 euros uh, cost with extreme uh, x99 CPU and you know, Rampage 5 motherboard, dual graphics card and uh, you know, full water cooling loop. Well, the loop was not 100% uh, um, connected to all components. It was m only the uh, CPU, as you can see here. So we have CPU water cooled. The motherboard, the MOSFETs, and the chipset but apart from that um, we did not water cool the graphics cards for example the two Asus Trix cards uh, and the customer decided to water cool these cards as well to improve stability because uh, Cyprus weather is very hot and uh, during the summer, especially in non-air-conditioned uh, rooms, you need more cooling. So, as you can see, we have uh, one 360mm radiator at the top. Then we have another one 240mm uh, at the bottom. And we are going to add these two cards, GTX 980 Strix cards, to the loop. So um, we have to drain the system to make sure that everything is clean and add these two cards to the loop. So I'll be back, so stay tuned. Okay guys, I have finished adding the video cards to the water cooling loop. I've added the water blocks, uh, reworked uh, the whole water cooling setup. Uh, I have changed, I have only left the CPU and the motherboard blocks uh, almost as, as they were. Uh, the rest I, have, I had to replan and reroute through the case because they were routed from the back of the case uh, previously and now um, you can see that um, I have added quick release to the loop so it's the quick release here in order to drain the system more easily in the future when needed here is the card cards uh, connected to the loop And I have uh, replanned the water to go from from the top uh, radiator uh, through that connection there, and then going to the CPU from the CPU going to the chipset, and from the chipset going to the bottom. Uh, radiator and then from the bottom radiator going up to the cards and then going back to the reservoir that is located in the front of the case the reason I have done this is because when the water flows when the liquid flows from the top to the bottom uh, it gets hotter and hotter and I didn't want the liquid to get to the cards uh, at higher temperature uh, then it comes out of the radiator. I know that uh, the difference would be so little that uh, it might not make a difference but even one or two degrees uh, are significant and I wanted to achieve the maximum performance in this case. Therefore I have chained the radiators uh, this way. Now I'm gonna um, connect everything to the monitors and uh, test 
the performance, see the temperatures of the cards running and share all my thoughts with you. Thanks for watching again. Subscribe, comment and I hope to see you again soon at our channel for more videos like this. Bye bye now.